baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Columbus Clippers and the Iowa Cubs. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Devin Smeltzer, a southpaw from New Jersey, gets the starting gig in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy is fun to watch. How about Also had three hits in the win last night. First pitch of the AB now. Chopper left side of the infield. He's got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Second out. Now it'll be Eddie James who comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So here is Gary King. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Stepping in once again is Tyler Freeman. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Tyler. 2 uh, 2. Sent on the ground out to second. And there's out number two. So now to the plate, Eddie James flew out last time up. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. High and deep down the left field line. And foul. Hey, you can do it, kid. No up there. Let's go. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's right yeah, there. Fly, come, fly, on, come on, come on, come on. The yeah. inning will end as they're unable to cash in. Which so now into the box is Eddie James. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, and you don't want to be selfish, Matty. You never want to be that in a team sport, but right here, he's well aware of his hit streak on the line, and he's going to get selfish and grind this A.B. out. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Go hard, you're going score, to be go demoralizing if they can't. He arrives at second without a play as two runs come across to score away from the play. Off the bat, it was pretty clear right away that that hit was going to get him at least two bases. Yeah, Matt, some people like to crow about homers and towering drives, but you have to like hits like this. A no-doubt double the second it left his bat. Like you said, the only question was whether the outfielders were going to be able to keep him at second, which they did. Three and one, here it is. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Digging in, switch hitter Cedric Mullins grounded out in his last at bat. Runner breaks for third. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. That brings up Will Craig. He was Number punched three, out man. looking at Number strike three 35. last time through. Runner goes for third. Fly ball to straightaway left. And Guillen will handle this one for route number two. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Digging in next, Jose Godoy. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Runner's on his way to third. And he is out at second base. And partner, that's going to do it for this one. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. 
they came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the, the win column. 11 to 2 is the way this the ball Victoria's game ends. The Columbus runs. Clippers came out swinging two with errors. a huge first they inning that really Rutter set them up well. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Columbus Clippers and the Iowa Cubs. Division rivals do battle. Next. Eddie Lopez, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. It seems like the more trouble he gets in, the better he pitches. Really tough to hit with runners in scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why his team loves when he's out on the mound. He doesn't give up very many crooked numbers. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Ball that's carrying. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. You know, D-Row, I'm not sure if you're one of those superstitious guys, but a 13-game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost out of here. Two weeks. So right just here. sleeping like a baby. I can't be. You're going to hear me reiterate this throughout this streak. I can't tell you. When you're swinging the bat like this, your food tastes better, your wife gets prettier, everything is just working. At the plate now is Cedric Mullins as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And for me, this is the side he looks Thank more you. fluid from. A little more control in his swing, and it seems to lead to more consistent contact than from the right side. That Stepping in next, Jose Godoy. Another first-inning RBI opportunity for him here. Bounce it to the left side, and that's through for a base hit. One run is scored. Well, he was hoping that this outing would be better than his last, but it's not shaping up that way so far. Next to hit, Eddie James, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Eddie From the stretch. And this is taken outside for ball one. one ball. Yeah, you okay. take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Maddie, I know we're getting ready for game two, but yesterday, man, road trip got off to a great start. They pounded the baseball, pitched, played defense. This team comes in riding high into game two. Line hard to center right field. Right hard, right hard. You're scoring, you're scoring, you're scoring. Make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. But not before they claim the lead here as they bat around and hang an eight spot on them. One inning in the books here. The I Cubs are out in front, eight to nothing. Striding forward now is the DH, Eddie James. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out go, to go, right go, field. Go, 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 go! And the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Next to hit is Eddie now, James. Uh, he flew out in his last A-B. Yeah, and I'm right, sure boy, he'd like right, a base hit of some sort right here, Maddie. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Next, it'll be Eddie James. Drove in a run with a sack fly last time up. Hot shot down the line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Yeah, they need him a little bit earlier in this one. But he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs saved. 
Job well done. 11 to 8. The final score in this ball game. The Cubs put on a real offensive show with 11 runs on the board. Adam Morgan gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Alex Pagoldi was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Enrique Tejeda gets a four-out save, his 16th of the season. Team's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Columbus Clippers and the Iowa Cubs. And now, Division rivals do battle your next. Iowa Cubs. Eddie James gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whiff, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. So now here is Brian Rocchio. He will lead this one off today. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. Now to the plate, Cesar Hernandez, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. And for me, this is the side he looks more fluid from. A little more control in his swing, and it seems to lead to more consistent contact than from the right side. Fellas, you take a look at the home side here as they take the field. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit-by-pitch. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. Oscar Mercado comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Benson. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Who started it with the change, and it's nothing in one. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Two, two, two. On the ground to second base, this could be two. One there, on to first as they get the double play to get him out. And now here is Nolan Jones, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now to the plate, here is Tyler Freeman. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Cold strike on the corner, good changeup that time. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Barely able to make contact, down 0-2 now. Freeman stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He was a first round pick back in 2017. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. The catcher. Next, here is Eric Haas. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. Grounded to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in will be the very fleet-footed Rolando Gill. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball that's 1-0. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command, and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 2-1. He doesn't have a big fastball, but he was able to get that pitch by him. And Matt, that's 100% a result of setting up with the off-speed pitches before it. If you're not a hard thrower, you could still have some success, but you have to learn how to mix speeds and set everything up. That was a nice job right there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So stepping in is Chad Wallet. The first baseman, number nine. 
be taken, and that one yeah. catches the bottom Come part on. of the strike one zone. Strike. Hit one, down one, the line one. at first. And he'll step yeah. on first for the out, three unassisted. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Brian Rocchio. Hit out towards second, reined in. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. All set for the start of the fourth. And standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, the pitcher can claim that that one slipped all he wants, but that looked intentional to me. He goes with the heater up and in and absolutely drills him. That's dangerous, and I'm surprised that the ump appears to be letting it go. Oscar Mercado digging in now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey, let's go right here. Ready with the 0-1. And he misses with it 1-1. One and one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Will Benson is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're great, scoreless great. in inning number four. Grounded down the third baseline. Let's turn two, get the first one. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pick selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Skied in the air to straightaway left. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And standing in is the DH, Tyler Freeman. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Pitch coming, here it is. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Oh, it's him. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. He's going to find out quickly. Guys are even more selective up here in AAA. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And he got him. And now Eric Haas. He bounced out yeah, last man. time up. Number 13. First offering on its way. 
And this is lined hard to deep left. Oliva is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So the next to bat will be Rolando Gill, grounded out in his last at bat. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1-0. and oh. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Down low, two balls and a strike. One strike. And this ball's pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. He's through five without. And stepping in, Chad Waller. He set to lead us off in the sixth inning. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next up, Brian Rokil. No hits to this point. Swing and a line drive. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight, the ability to use yeah, all parts. Oh, Cesar Hernandez comes on with one away as he looks at the ball. It's 1-0. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. Two home runs and an even 20 RBIs. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Clawson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Oscar Mercado from the belt. Kicks and deals. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. And he'll be back in standing up. High in the air down the right field line. Clawson will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Benson. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. And he falls behind 0-2. Yeah, he's got these hitters in the proverbial rocking chair right here. Pushing the throttle and pulling it. Nice change of speeds. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Digging in will be Nolan Jones. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Change up too low, and it's 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. His eyes one lit ball. up on that He's one straight. above the zone, but he comes up empty. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's one, one, ears. One. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get knocked. He's out. And there are two away now. So next to bat will be Tyler Freeman. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Fielded cleanly on the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. And now in the box, Eric Haas. He'll start us off in the eighth. Number 13. And now a check swing, but did he hold up in time? No, swung the bat, says Clyde Washington. It's strike one. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Right to him. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. So next to hit is Rolando Gill. Flew out last time up. Strike one to start the at-bat. 
Bases are empty, one man in. Fouled away. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Chad Wallach is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we still Jack Sanchez will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. A 7-0 shutout final today. Luther Duke claims the win out of the pen his first. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Blazak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the, the new website, theshow.com. For the victorious Clippers, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. This pitcher's winning ERA is not translating into wins. A team can't win without scoring runs. His coach offers a well-deserved acknowledgement.